The men's competition a year ago in Calgary was filled with enormous pressure and tension, further enhanced with the Battle of the Bryans. Boitano skated the performance of a lifetime. When I was skating around before going to skate out, I was thinking, I can't do this, I can't do it, there's no way I can do it. And I remember after the first two triples, I calmed down a little bit, and they were so good that, you know, it was like almost you were in heaven because you started off on the, on the right foot. From each triple, it built up, it, you can do this one, you can do this one more, just one more, just one more, and then it just built up and built up until the very end. And that's when, uh, it, it's not whether you know, you, you know, it's not like, I won the gold medal, I know I won the gold medal, it's like, I did it, I skated well in an Olympic event. I mean, what, what more would be the epitome of, of a competitive skater? Brian's dream come true brought him headlines, fame, and his own TV special. But along with it, a drastic change in lifestyle. I think I've been home for about maybe a little over a month since Olympics. Right now, I have to be a workaholic because if I'm not a workaholic, I'll think too much about how much I want to do. If I let what I let slip by, the past year has been a non-stop world tour. While in New York recently with his mother Donna, he was able to briefly escape his hectic skating world with a visit to the fabulous toy fantasy land FAO Schwartz. Occasionally, Brian finds his fans in unique places. And with all of the travel, finding quality ice time to train is extremely difficult. A moment of relaxation, quietly enjoying the sport which he loves, and then it's off to work in the world of professional figure skating. Now on the ice, Brian Boitano.
Marciano. With this performance, he has changed the face of professional figure skating for all time. A performance filled with triples, including Brian's trademark, the triple lunch with his left arm extended overhead. It's difficult because he uses only his right arm to give him the triple rotation in the air. Now here's Jimmy with Brian and his coach, Linda Lieber. The two of you have been together for a very long time. Did he skate as well tonight as he did in Calgary or not? It was different. It was wonderful. This was a wonderful, wonderful performance. It was a totally different type of program, but... It but was as well? Excellent. It yeah, was I think for this show. situation it was as well. Everything was as on as it was in Calgary. This is the first time I've done all the triples again since the Olympics. And it was a real challenge for me. And Four, I was really nervous. Four, one, four time. That was good, huh? Ten. 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 And 9.95. The 9.95, the judge, John Misha Petkovic. The total score, 50. You throw out the high and the low, it's still a perfect 50 for Brian Boitano. Next, two-time Olympic silver medalist, Brian Orser. What's in a name? The Kemper name means the security.